What is going on, guys? Um, I'm back with a the Psionic Zone Advanced Guide, or one of the two advanced guides that I want to make. Um, but hopefully the basics video helped out. Um, I got a couple topics that I want to go over today. One, genius statues, because I think that's a little bit more advanced. Um, using geniuses to counter against people in PvP. Um, how to merge geniuses properly. Um, and then which ones to use for special scenarios. So first I'm going to go over genius statues. Um, when you get them, so you can get them from your supply depot over here in the genius statue supply. Um, I save up all of the good ones, the advanced ones, for the events that give you special geniuses. Because um, you can still get all of these guys, but they can give you a chance to give you more rare ones. So I just save all of these as much as I even save these a lot of the time, even though you can kind of just use these on uh, whenever you get them. Um, but these statues, so I, you know, it just get, it's like another usable item. So just like any other of the items in the game, but for these, you can use them if I go to Genius Statue for like City Bar, right? Um, you need to collect, so like if I needed to collect eight Robin Hood statues, and then I could, or well, one more I guess, and then level him up to six, right? What that does is it effectively, any Robin Hood genius that I slot into my building, which I never use him, but if I did, <coughs> he would be five levels higher than whatever level I got him to. So say my city bar is level 68, my Robin Hood would be level 73, right? or 72 in this case, but if I got one more, it would be 73. Right now he's level five, and that corresponds to this level. Okay, um, the level of the, the whole, uh, I guess like the, the unit, right? All four of these, as long as they are all active, like let me find one that's not. So this one, none of these guys get a bonus, but if I get Jing Key, if I get one statue for Jing Key and activate it, that increases the talent level of all four of those geniuses by one. So it goes by the lowest level one. So if I get one Jing Key statue, my Jing Key statue will be level one. So it will give one talent because it's the lowest common denominator, one talent to all four of these geniuses. But the genius themselves get the level boost that they are so it's it's worth using them just to get the extra level because that increases the stats a little bit but in order to increase their talent from this you need to have all of them active if that makes sense so like i would need one statue for each of these guys to activate it so it's not active right now but once it is you get another talent level um an easy way to show this is if i go to my genius statues here um i actually have talent level five across the board for this. So Zukov, Charles de Gaulle, and Musa, or, uh, Miyamoto, um, level five. So they all have level five, they get five increased levels from where my genius, or where the military academy is. And mine's level 80. So my Miyamoto will be level 85. But his talent will also be five higher than it normally is. Okay. Um, so his talent or I'm um, sorry, it looks like his talent's actually uh, level three. Hmm. I guess I was wrong about that. Um, but it is correlated to what level um, that genius is. So he's level five, so he gets five experience. And then it might be for every two levels they get one. Um, yeah, so this is level five. Um, oh. Okay, there you go. Whatever the bond level is, so at bond level five, I guess they get three talent, right? So you would have to get them to level eight, all of them to level eight, and then they jump to plus five talent. Okay, all right, that makes sense. So I learned something new today too. Um, but that increases the talent based on that. So that's kind of how genius statues work. If you don't have a rare genius, save them. So if like, instead of using them for, oh, let me get my daily gold. Um, if you don't have one of the rare geniuses, save the statues. So, for example, if you don't have a MacArthur, every MacArthur statue you get, save it up until you have them. So I have four legendary MacArthur statues. If you have 40, 
you can trade them in for the actual genius at talent level 60 with that special skill, so like the bonus skill. And that goes for any uh, any of them. So, you know, if I scroll down, I might have enough for one. So, like, you, I can buy another talented super roadster. So talented just means they're above 40. It's 45 or above talent. You're guaranteed to have at least 45. I can pull one of them. Like, I can use 10 statues as long as I don't put them in the psionic zone. I can use those 10 statues to get another copy of a talented copy of this genius. That applies for the the rare guys as well. So, um, you know, I have five of this guy, one of this person, 23 Curies. So, like, at 60, I could pull a level talent, a talent level 60 version of Curie, right? So, you can do that for any of these geniuses. So, if you don't own them already, save them. If you do own them, you're probably better off putting them in for... Uh, higher bond levels because getting 40 of them and not using it on bond level you're only going to get another level 60 copy so it's like you're wasting 40 statues to bring them up maybe one to two talent points versus if you used all 40 statues that you had to level up their bond level you would get them to like level six or seven so they'd increase by seven levels and maybe uh, plus one or two talent anyway so it, it's just better off once you have them to use them uh, to upgrade the, the statue level. Okay, so that's kind of how the genius statues work. Once you get this overall, and that it's this is the um, addition of all of these level 3, level 5, all of these bond levels. Once you get this up to 80 is when you unlock that, that fourth genius slot. It, it's, you have to spend money on it. There's no possible way that I could see that I'll ever reach 80 if I don't buy genius, uh, if I don't buy um, more statues to get the levels higher. I don't think it's possible. So anyway, um, so that's that's where you get that fourth slot. So most people are never going to actually unlock that fourth slot, but I'll, pretty much everyone can get all get the three of them. And really, there's only three, maybe four geniuses that are really good for each slot. So it's not too, too bad anyway. Um, okay, so I'm going to go over merging rules really quick. So if I'm going to find, so say, okay, Zatoichi. Um, this is a good genius for PvP, for fighting people, because he lowers your power, and all of the matchmaking when you go into, like, Borderlands or Bermuda, all of the matchmaking is based on your power. So if you're attacking, and your power is 20 million, you will attack the closest person above that power to you if you're defending it's the opposite right so, so if someone attacks if they're over your power they're going to attack the person above you not below you unless there's no one above you in which case they attack you um so he's a good genius to have but one thing to notice is specifically on his experience i i have them at two different experience levels for the purpose of this video and two different talent levels for that matter um so this guy is level 51 plus 9 because of the geniuses. Don't worry about that. Just focus on the 51 or 67. Okay. If I merge these two and I have them this way for a reason, this Zatoichi is one talent. He's 50 and this one is 49. Okay. This guy is one talent higher. And if I were to go to merge the two of them, it would tell me that I would increase by two to five. Now, a lot of people get nervous and they go, okay, well, this one's a higher level, but this one's a higher talent. Um, I want to increase the talent to improve. It doesn't matter. When you merge the two geniuses, it will use the highest level value and the highest talent value for the merge. So this, the probability of merging these two is very good. I will get a two to five talent improvement estimated so it's a random chance between there on this higher talent number the new genius will also inherit the level of the higher level genius so if this one was a higher talent and level it would retain its higher level and its higher talent but if they're two different ones it'll keep the higher of the two numbers so higher talent and higher level so if i merge them now i have one level 67 genius at 54 talent okay 
So it gave the the higher level one gained four talent. So it was a plus four to the higher talent one, and it inherited the level of the higher level one. So that's that new genius. All right. Um, so it doesn't matter what order you merge things into; it will always take the highest talent and highest experience. So if I were to go, I don't think I have another copy, but if I go to merge, yeah, if I had another copy down here and it was, you know, level one, right? And with talent level 10 and all, and it miraculously succeeded in its merge, um, I would have a level 54 or 55 talent Zatoichi um, because it'll probably give me like a plus one and it will be experience level 67 still. So it'll keep the highest level and the highest talent. Um, and that's how the, the rules go for merging. Um, if you are going to merge geniuses, swap your title to Genius Scout, Enhance Merging and Merging Master. Okay, Enhance Merging and Merging Master are really, really good. They give you a higher probability of merging being successful, and they give you a higher, um, uh, sorry, this Genius Spayman. Also, when you're t merging people, you want to put him on. Okay, because when you do, you get even more enhanced merging and merging master. So merging master um, gives you a resource discount. So like if I go to merge him, the price down here is lower. And enhanced merging increases the chance that it's successful. Now if you use the scout or if you use genius scout and this, you're going to get, you know, somewhere close. If, if you have a talented spayman, it doesn't even have to be like 53 or above, but um, a talented one, you're going to have another 40 to 50% chance of a successful merge. It's a really, really high percent. Um, so if you're going to merge geniuses, use that. Okay. Um, and I'll actually risk it a little bit, maybe. Yeah, so it's a, it says small chance, and that's even with spayman because these guys are such a lower talent level than where this guy is at. Um, so the merging probability is a small chance on that. So I'm not going to take that risk. Usually you only want to take the risk if it's big chance or great chance on probability. Um, and if I take off Spayman, and then I go uh, take off Genius Scout, and I go back to merge him, yeah, so it's still a small chance. So it was a small chance from the start. <laughs> okay, um, the 40% difference apparently didn't change it from small chance to good chance. So it must have been a really, really small chance. Um, anyway, so there's a couple of geniuses now. The further advanced guide. Um, I'm going to go into what geniuses to use for what situations. Um, I'm going to go over specifically gathering geniuses, pirate geniuses, and world boss geniuses because those are the three things that I see most people ask questions about. Um, for gathering, typically uh, one of the ones you want to look for is Barton. This guy's really good. Like I said, he gives you increase in my last video. He gives you increased XP when you fight pirates, so that's really really good for fighting pirates and gathering. So he'll be on for both. And this extra carrier slot is important um, because now you can send out a whole other gatherer, like another Nibbits or allow Ning to pick up more resources. Um, for City Bar. Um, for uh, gathering specifically, you're going to want to put in either Im Kok John, I'm probably butchering that name, I don't really know, but yeah, so he gives you gathering speed, and it's a huge percent, like 86%, it almost doubles the speed at which you gather stuff. Um, either that or Crazy Horse is also really good. He gives you that gathering speed bonus, plus he gives you a base plus three. This works similar to lead a like overall attack percentage versus plus just flat overall attack. It works the same way. Um, and then aircraft carrier speed is how fast your thing gets there. So if you're trying to outrace other people, don't do that. If there's a line going there already to the, the resource tile, don't go to it. You're just being a jerk. Um, but um, if you know, you'll probably get there faster than other people because most people aren't that courteous and will, won't just pull back and let you have it. Um, but anyway, be the guy that pulls back because <laughs> there's plenty of resource tiles usually. So um, you'd want to put those on. So Crazy Horse or Im, uh, that Im Kwok Jong, 
guy. Now, there's a couple geniuses that actually won't let you put them together. So if you put in Crazy Horse, you can't use Im Kok Jong. Like, it, you cannot, like, it won't let you assign both of them at the same time. See how it's grayed out here? I physically cannot assign him. It's also Zing He, I believe, because they give the same stats. Yeah, they give that same aircraft carrier speed, and I guess they conflict with one another. So if you have a plus 8 or a plus 7, it doesn't stack together. It won't let you put them both on. But what is weird is, like, if I go over here, there's another a person, uh, where is she, Anne Bonnie, who also gives aircraft carrier speed, and you can have her on while you have him on. So you just can't use the ones in the same uh, psionic zone, which is interesting. Um, so there's just look at what they give you. Um, this guy, the Im Kwok Jong, will give you increased gathering speed. You want to get there faster and just overall increase your gathering speed. So those are some ones to look out for, um, for gathering. Let me see if there's any others. Yeah, so I don't think there's any others necessarily that I would use in any of these other places. Uh... Yeah, so this guy increases, so if you're about to donate, or if you're just kind of like offline or going offline for the night, throw this guy on, um, because it'll increase the amount of donation or meteorites you can donate to your center. Um, and when you wake up in the morning, you'll have more meteorites, and you'll be able to get, you know, higher, um, you'll be able to get the technology for your CVP faster. Um, but yeah, so those are those are the gathering ones for pirates specifically. I'm actually just going to click on my pirate preset and use it. So these are the ones that I use for pirates. Um, I sometimes, depending on the level of pirates, if I'm just farming for experience and resources, I'll take off Genghis Khan and I'll throw on Barton because you don't need the. If I'm not using warships to fight pirates, you don't need the full warships attack and defense. It doesn't do anything. You get zero percent if you don't have warships on. Um, but Barton gives me experience. He gives me another 20% experience, almost. So that's a lot. So if you kill a pirate at level 26 and then wipe out all their ships, they give about 110,000 experience flat with 20 extra percent. They give you another almost 20,000 experience on top of that. So every five pirates, you're getting one free, basically, or experience-wise. So he's also good to throw on. Um, I, I typically will put on some damage skies because if I'm, you know, I use this for both rallies and for regular pirate hunting. Um, you want to use Curse Captain Jack because he gives you damage mitigation against pirates, damage mitigation against pirates, more resources from pirates. Armando, pirates have really high health, so this overall weakening is really helpful. Plus it gives you a little bit of defense. Um, and then Mrs. Zhang, this energy recovery is in regards to your rally energy. So rally energy coming back 50% faster is really nice, especially if you're the one running rallies. It's helpful if you're joining them, but it's really helpful if you're running them. So you want to use those two. Um, and then I just use these for damage. I don't really, for pirates, there's not really that many great people to put in for your technology center against pirates. Wright Brothers gives you quantity, which increases the damage on your planes. And Roten Gen gives additional injury, which is also just more damage. So those are the ones that I use there for pirates. Um, and you want to just, anything that has pirate effectiveness. Um, also for pirate title. You want to go for Destroyer V. Jack Returns 1 is 20% overall attack, but it's only against pirates. So you're able to hit pirates harder. So you use Destroyer V title against pirates, and then either Aircraft Expert or Lord of War uh, for player versus player stuff. Because it won't, you know, Destroyer V won't give you anything if it's against other people. Um, and the last thing is World Boss. So World Bosses. Um, what I will use against world bosses, uh, I'd have to go through again. Hold on. I think I have a preset for it, but I might not. Um, yeah, so this is, I, I throw this one on. Sorry, let me actually, so some of them don't know. Okay. All right. So I haven't used this one in a minute then. Um, but building ships, there's a couple geniuses that increase the amount of ships that you could build in a given day. Galileo is one of them. 
right? So shipbuilding speed. So like if you're transitioning from tier fours to tier fives, tier fives take a lot of time to build. And when you jump from tier fours to tier fives in player versus player activities, you lose the 50% buff that you, the damage buff that you get from in fighting, which is really bad. So you want to try to build up ships as fast as possible once you jump from tier four to tier five. So increasing your building speed allows you to build more of them per day um, for less time. So it's really effective. So I actually had a whole setup a while ago for it, but I guess I overrode it somehow. Um, but there's a couple. Galileo is one of them. Rocket Fire also gives you that ship building speed. Um, and then if you're ever about to just crank out a bunch of them with speed ups, you can always throw on one of these shipbuilding things. These shipyard increases shipbuilding speed by 50% for an hour. So it's, if it's only an hour, but you plan on using speed ups anyway, crank one of these up, throw Galileo on, throw a rocket fire on, and now you have about 120 to 130% shipbuilding speed. So you can build more than double the amount of ships in a 24 hour period. Um, and then just use speed ups to crank a bunch of them out. And you end up using less speed ups so you can build more ships. Um, oh, all right, so back to world boss. There is, I believe, a guy in here. Well, one crane against world bosses for carrier repair speed. When you're fighting against world bosses, um, for those of you that are smaller players, if you have carrier shards, what you are going to want to do is you're going to want to buy a bunch of level one chakris. Okay, so carry your shards here, hit use, all the way at the bottom, these, uh, oh, hold on, not all the way, I guess. Where are you at? These Chakri Nerubet. They're four carrier shards apiece. You want to pick up a lot of them. Um, I think I have 15, and I probably should have more, but if I go through my carriers and go, so I use Nimitz for gathering, blah, 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 so all level one. They don't have to be a higher level, you just want them all level one. And what you do is you put on the highest warships that you have and then send them to attack the boss. You can put aircraft on it too. I have aircraft on mine. Um, they don't do as much, but you can put aircraft on it too and you will do the most damage and you're almost guaranteed to get those class items every time you hit with one of these. I have 15 or 20 of these guys, a lot of them. Um, and that's how you get your damage. That's if you see someone on your server that has a hundred thousand plus damage on a world boss This is how they just send an army of these level one chakras never level them up Because it adds more warships on them and you won't have enough to put them on all of your chakras um, And you just kind of start attacking so when you're fighting a world boss if you have it there's a title to put on I need to find it I believe no None of these is a joint battle. Nope. It's a weird one. Oh, also worship when you're building ships, worship expert, 20 more percent right there. Hmm. It's in here somewhere. It's one of these. Might be in the top then. Beast Hunter, that's it. So Monster Hunter, this buff, 30. Um, it just increases the damage you do to world bosses. So if you put this on with your army of Chakris, all using tier four, or tier five, whatever the highest level warships you have, um, you're going to be doing a lot more damage, and you're going to guarantee that you're going to get those class items. So use Beast Hunter title, um, and then there's a couple people in Pirate Jail. So I use Salazar. Captain Hook gives you plus 79 to Monster Hunter. Braveheart reduces damage to warships and carriers from the world boss. Um, and then this one is kind of useless for fighting world bosses, but Monster Hunter and Braveheart you really want. Um, there's a couple other geniuses like him that do really good for that. Uh, let me see if I can find. I don't believe they're in this. I believe they are in here. Uh, 
I don't see any others. There are other ones. Um, I just can't find them right now. But there are other ones that you want to go into. So let me actually go to the Genius Shard place because I know that a couple of them are in there that I don't own. Um, no, not that. Um, but yeah, so throw crane on because when your chakris break, this will help repair them faster. Captain Hook, throw him on because he helps you do more damage to pirates. Um, this guy, Kuyan, he gives more monster hunter and brave heart. Okay. Uh, and yeah, okay, so also thrifty, he drops the cost of repairing warships, so that also could be nice. And he also has sh ship speed building, so that too. Um, but those are so Kuan, Captain Hook. Um, I don't think Peter Pan gives you anything, but he might. Um, but those are a couple geniuses to look out for to add when you're fighting world bosses. So throw on the Beast Hunter title, Ku Yan, and Captain Hook. Throw all three of those on. A bunch of Chakris with the highest level T5 or T4, T5 warships or higher if you have them. Um, and just attack the crap out of the world boss and you're going to get a lot more out of it. Um, so those are all the, the or most of the in and outs of the Psionic Zone that I use. Um, this video is already pretty long. I'm going to make an entire another one on using geniuses to counter enemies, even though I was planning on doing it in this one, because I don't want this video to be too, too, too long. So um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm going to put the, or, you know, the bullet point information in the description below. All right. Thanks, guys. Comment, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Peace.